Had the SSC in Texas gone through, where would we be today? So the SSC, the superconducting super collider, I would call it the super duper collider. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> if you take certain metals and you reduce their temperature, there comes a point where they become superconducting, where electricity can pass through them and there's no resistance and they don't get hot and it just moves. Mm -hmm. We call that superconductivity. Why does that matter? For any collider, you're accelerating particles. The particles have an electric charge. And if you move an electric charge through a magnetic field, you can accelerate it. And you slam it into a target. Okay. And that creates a field of energy out of which brand new particles can form. What are you doing with a new particle? <laughs> because a new particle might explain something we didn't understand. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, it would be the largest and most powerful super collider in the world. Around 1989, 1990, they judge that there are cost overruns that we cannot afford and they zero the project. And once that happened, the center of mass of particle physics would no longer be in the United States. The European Center for Nuclear Research, CERN, they said, all right, you're not gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Huh. So then they built the Large Hadron Collider. Why couldn't the, commu the scientific community in America convince the federal government and the people funding this that this was a mistake? Because they didn't call it a super duper collider. 